increase now in the number of anonymous tips coming into the Pikes Peak Crime Stoppers, now up 17% since the start of the year. Cardio News Channel 13's Jasmine Arenas joins us live overlooking Colorado Springs with what's behind this jump. Jasmine. That's right, the Pike Peak the Pikes Peak Area Crime Stoppers say they have seen an increase in all 15 categories. And they also say brand awareness and new collaborations have led them to success. The more tips we get, the more effective we can be at deterring criminal acts. Don Addy is the organization's chairman. He says the increase in tips has a lot to do with people being able to step out more and their organization's brand awareness. Building awareness on our part is health. The other thing is people are out more now. A year ago, people were sequestered and at home, but I think they're out more now and they're seeing more things. He says they get a wide range of tips regarding a variety of crimes, but in the month of June, they received at least two tips every week regarding animal cruelty. Hinting this could be because of their recent collaboration with the Humane Society of the Pikes Peak region. So we're now delivering tips on animal cruelty directly to them for follow up. It's been very effective. Our tips there are up quite, quite a bit. The Pikes Peak Area Crime Stoppers are also now in collaboration with the Housing and Building Association. Uh, to help them reduce or prevent theft of building materials from building sites and that's been an effective program also. Tips on drug related crimes are also up. But Addy emphasizes that no matter what the tip is, it will remain anonymous. Crime Stoppers was also recently recognized as an accredited charity with the Better Business Bureau, which they believe has helped people become more aware of their organization. Now, arrests resulting from a tip can lead to a cash reward for the caller. For more information on how you can provide tips, you can head on over to our website, caradio.com. Reporting live in Colorado Springs, Jasmine Arenas for Caradio News Channel 13. All right, Jasmine, thank you.